Hi, today I tried the classical conditioning or Pavlov test with my kids. I hope you won't find this too barbaric. But first, let me remind you how this works. So you have two stimuli. One is conditioned, one is neutral. The conditioned stimulus will, will produce a response all the time. All right? On the other hand, the neutral stimulus won't produce a response. So the purpose here is to put them together long enough so that the neutral stimulus produces a response like the other one. There are four ways of putting them together. The neutral stimulus can happen before, during, or after. Or it can, the neutral stimulus can uh, begin before and continue during the other stimulus. And this is the strongest stimulus. The weakest one is when you have the neutral stimulus happening after. All right, and this is the one I tried with my daughter, Sophia. So we... Hi, Sophia. Hi. How are you doing? Good, you? Great. So today we're going to do a little experiment, okay? Okay. You're gonna watch this funny video and I'm going to blow air in your face like this. Yes. All right? Okay. But don't pay attention to me. Just watch the video and once in a while I'm gonna go like this. All right, you can blink or close your eyes, but don't pay attention to me. Okay. All right, let's start this. You. Yes, what is it? Why do you do this? Ah, that's a very good question. I'm going to explain to you, all right, later today. Okay. I'll, I'll show you the video and explain, I'll explain to you. Great. <laughs> 